to episode four of Between Two Rigs. I am Jeremy Compton, VP of Engineering at DET. With me, I have Blue Check Certified, our CEO, Pat Salvo. We're going to get right into it today on some fan mail right off the beginning. Um, I'm just going to read this verbatim. So do you guys think you're the A-team or what? This got me pondering. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-team. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Okay. Now that we're back with that, um, we got to thinking, what is an A-team, right? We hear this in the drilling, the operations world, completions, everything. Um, we hear this all the time, you know, or it, do you have your A-team? Is this your A-team? You know, what is the A-team? We hear it all the time. People like, well, salesmen go in and call on somebody and they're like, you know, well, is there an opportunity for us? And they're like, well, I've, I've already got my A-team together. You know, we hear this all the time. So we were thinking like, what is an A-team? How, how do you, how do you dictate an A-team? You know, we look at sports and we think of teams and you go, well, that's an A-team. But only one team wins every year, right? Very true. Very true. You know, you got all kinds of teams that have an A team, and how do we describe that? And how do we actually, how to actually quantify that? Well, the one that wins is the A team, hands down. No matter what it is, no matter what payroll you're looking at, the guys are associated with it. The leadership is the one that goes all the way to the end and gets the golden goose. Yeah. So I mean, like, talk about the Yankees. The Yankees stack a team every year. Every the year. best team money can buy. Yeah. How many World Series have the Yankees won in the last 10 years? Shh, don't one? ask me. I, maybe I won. One, I think. One. And they had the best team money can buy. Yeah. And that's the same thing that we get into. I mean, take Texas Tech, and they got rid of Mike Leach. And now they're terrible at football. We can all openly admit that. Mm -hmm. right? Look what yeah, Mike Leach is doing is. in every program he's going to. So when we talk about, you know, is it an A team? A lot of times people think, well, I've got my great DD out there. I've got my great company man out here. You know, I've got my, my 18 mud engineers out here. Mm -hmm. And then you put them with poor leadership and, and it's, you don't get an A team result. Right. Um, you know, we, we see that all the time. We discuss that with our customers, you know, like leadership is a big part of it. Yeah. Cause a lot of people call and say, Hey, can we have your guys mm -hmm. to go drill a well? And we're like, right. well, I mean, they're great guys. And they can make a difference in your program. Yep. But you're not going to see the whole difference. Right. Um, kind of looking at it that way, it's been uh, it's been really interesting. But I think even more so when we discuss an A team is, what if you put together an A team, but then you get a 3,500 foot nudge, and a lease line for 12,000 foot down a lateral. Right. And then a 30 degree turn in the middle of your lateral at 350 degrees. Yep. And you're comparing those results to a well that's a 5,000 foot lateral and no nudge. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where a degree of difficulty doesn't matter how great of a team you have. Whenever you add degrees of difficulty, you see it throughout the project and you see the results end like that whenever you add difficulty. It's one of those things that whenever you plan it well and you set everything up for success, partnered with the A-team and the great leadership and the execution, that's whenever you get the results everyone looks for. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, and you talk about that, if land isn't working with drilling, setting up the units right, getting ops set up, then it just all the way, it snowballs to completions. Your right. completions guy doesn't want to have a 3,500 foot nudge and a turn in the lateral and try to pump plugs and drill that out with cold tubing. Yeah. Right, so you could have the best completions crew you've ever had. Yeah and you're gonna have well problems, yes. right? Sure. It, so, I mean, we talk about, you know, we base everything on facts, not feelings. Well, a lot of times when you look at the facts, it's not the whole story, right? right? Like, because you could have an A-team land department, an A-team drilling department, and an A-team completions department, and have a bad well. Sure. Because there's no synergy between the two. And we see it with big companies especially, but with smaller companies, they're not thinking a lot of times six months, 12 months down the road mm -hmm. because it's a conceptual well before operations get involved. Right. Yeah, no and doubt about it. We, we see that um, and we really work to get past that. But I mean, it, it's kind of funny. 
the whole A team discussion, someone throwing it out there, you know, do you guys think you are the A team? Um, I mean, yes, we can be, but we're only as successful as the whole process. Sure. Right? And, and you talk about somebody, I've seen, you know, my high school football coach told me one time, he won a state championship and not one kid got a scholarship. And I was like, well, you're terrible at marketing your players, right? But I mean, that's not it. He had a great team. He didn't have a great list of players. Right. He had a great team. Yeah. And so that's what we strive for too. When we plug people in and out, sometimes this guy's a little better, sometimes that guy, but it's a team effort and not, hey, we're just gonna throw the best we got out here and you're gonna get a, a great well. That's not how it works, right? you know? so. That's our uh, topic for today for episode four. Thank you for joining us. I don't know if you noticed, but we got this new backdrop mm -hmm. and it is awesome. Thank you to the sponsors who made that happen. Uh, we're the sponsors. So thank you, Pat. Yep. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jeremy. All thank right. We'll see y'all next week. And if anything, when in doubt, keep it salty, guys. <laughs>